All right. So tell me about your first studio scene. So someone from Vixen reached out to you. And what was the first scene you got booked down? So they they brought me in for their Milfie channel, Mm -hmm. um, which I had to, I didn't know anything. Like I said, every new step is a learning experience for me because I'm coming from a place where I like, I knew nothing about porn. I knew nothing about any branches of the adult industry until we like jumped into it. Mm -hmm. Um, So now this, this, professional scene was a whole other thing. And I was like, I don't know anything about the, I didn't realize that Vixen was like huge. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They are. Yeah. Um, And um, anyway, so they were like, this is our, our new channel. It's called Milfy. They gave me like a free trial membership so I could watch some of it. And I watched it and I was like, Oh, like, Holy shit. This is fantastic. That's not what you thought porn was. Yeah. 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 The episodes that I watched of Milfy, I'm like, these are clever. Like these women are, are like, strong they're funny they're they're like interesting and they're just like owning that sex like it was so it was really cool to watch um so i said yeah i want to be part of it um they they also they made this the first scene that i did um a hot wife scene so that i really appreciated that because Mm -hmm. it was something that i was comfortable with i knew about i wasn't just jumping into like a you know girl on girl orgy or something that like Mm -hmm. wasn't my thing Mm -hmm. um it was they, they made a scene that was very much like what my husband and I do. Like there was like a husband character who was like watching me with my scene partner. And like, I had to, I kept giggling because I was like, (laughs) you know, this is is like the pretend version of my actual life. Yeah. It's like so meta. (laughs) Yeah. Um, But it was, it was awesome. So yeah, that was the end of 2023. um, And I was hooked. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Who did you perform with? Like who's my, my scene partner? partner, Um, Dan Damage. Okay. Yeah. And he was, he was great. Um, yeah, everybody was, I was just, it was, I was almost just like, like a, I just felt like a, I don't know, kid in a candy store. I was just looking around, like absorbing everything that was happening around me because like, even just like the crew working together so seamlessly, the director was, um, Caden Cross and like, she was so cool and so passionate about the project. Um, and I was just watching everybody and I'm like, oh yeah, I have to have sex. But like, I was just, you know, like a, like a learning experience, just mm-hmm. watching, you know, something that I was so unfamiliar with, but just really excited about. Isn't it funny too, how like most of the day is not spent on shooting the sex yes. to run everything else. <laughs> yeah. Did that surprise you too? Yes. And then I had to act and I'm, I'm also I, like, I'm not an actor and I'm not a model. Yeah. So like, I don't know how to pose and I don't know how to act, but it, I did those things. Yeah. And, like, they liked me. So I guess it went okay. Um, I was like, I can have sex, but I had to learn how to do these other things. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was really fun and everybody was really good about it. And everyone in the room knew that it was my first time doing anything like that. So they were all just like focused on making sure I was comfortable. And I just, yeah, I really appreciated it, which is why I, I came back. <laughs> and then you ended up getting a contract. Is that right? Yeah. In in May uh, this year. Yeah. How many scenes had you shot with them before that happened? I had done three scenes with them. <laughs> that was it. and. They had invited me to come back for this this feature, this American Mill feature mm-hmm. um, for Milfy, and so they call, called me and were like, "Well, since you're coming for this feature, do you want to do a contract? And we'll count these towards your scenes for the contract." Um, and I said yes because <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, like I'm not I'm not really like I, mean, I was really excited about working with Vixen, but I'm also not. I'm, I'm like my main thing is my my amateur work and my my home business. And yeah. just like we just like keep to ourselves and do our own thing. Um, I'm not looking to you know grind and work with a bunch of companies and like do a bunch of of professional scenes. So the idea that I'd only work with this one company and I really like them anyway, they'd bring me in and do a few, and then for most of the time I'm just back home in mm-hmm. Toronto doing my thing. Like this sounds like a very like chill like I. I like there wasn't a whole lot of expectation to like be, you know, it's a good traveling way to be and stuff all the time. Introduced to the industry, and not a lot of people get that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 